guys, welcome over. It's Baby Name Monday. I hope you are good. Today's list is a long one. I've got a hundred names because I just couldn't narrow this list down. I think that we should do it together actually. We should pick our favourites together and then we'll see from the majority of likes which are our top five to ten girl names on this list. Girls this week, boys next week and those are the top registered names from 1921. So vintage names have this kind of cycle. So many of these I'm desperate to get your opinion on. There's so many that I absolutely love, 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 love. Um, it's actually made me, you know when you find a name that you love and you know you're not gonna use it, <laughs> I get a bit cross. It's a really weird reaction. Um, I'm like, oh no, um, missed it. So yeah, I will get on with the list. This is taken from the Office of National Statistics for England and Wales is how they used to do it. If you want the American version of this, I found it on Appalachian Mountain, which is an amazing name website. We all, I talked about it loads at the beginning of this series because it's one of my all time faves. And so you can go over there and she has done the American list. I will link it below, but these were the British names. So if you're having a baby in the twenties, you might want a twenties name. I was thinking what a brilliant way of bringing it back. So the number one name, for sure this is gonna get super popular, is the name Margaret. And yeah, I just, I've fallen in love with Margaret. It's one that's kind of like, oh, I just think it's stunning. Um, I had Margot on my list and that's boomed up the charts. But I think that with the popularity of the crown, are you watching that? Princess Margaret's become like a real popular, and he's a character, popular royal. Um, funny enough, I'm not really watching the crown. Am I allowed to say that? Um, but I was born in Princess Margaret Hospital. That was the name of my hospital I was born in. And I was brought up in Stratton St. Margaret. That was the area. So I'm really kicking myself that I wasn't ahead of the curve with Margaret because I think it is lovely. It does suffer a little bit with nicknames, but I've thought about that. <laughs> I've overthought about that. Um, and I was thinking maybe Gigi is what I would go for, or obviously Margot you could go for. At number two is the name Mary. So still around, quite popular now, but most of you use it more for like a middle spot. Joan at number three. So a lot of these I was thinking, you know, what we do now is we add the IE and we're quite into the nickname names. That's the sort of trend at the moment. So it'd be like Joni. So see if you think these are too old fashioned, see if you prefer them with the IE ending, or if you want to be proper vintage, quirky, out there name, then you go with the full form because that's not being used as much. Like number four, Joyce, I think is gorgeous. I think you could definitely use it, Joyce, on a little girl because Joy, again, is sort of creeping up through those middle sports charts and then it normally jumps to the first. Um, but Joyce, I think is a lovely one, really like it. Dorothy is number five, it was number five, um, back in 1921, yeah. Stunning name, I was, it was my first name crush. When I was little, my mum tells me that I used to only let, only answer if she called me Dorothy <laughs> for a while. So I obviously really like Dorothy and my, um, Dorothea is really popular and that's my niece's middle name. So we did have a little Dorothy somewhere in our family. Kathleen is at number six. And these sort of Ean endings, I can't think of a modern one. And we've got more go line, don't want to add a line, um, but um, lean seems to be lower. So there's Kathleen. Doris at number seven. I wonder how many of you think that you could go with Doris for a first name? I feel like Doris at the moment is like a cat's name, like a car's name, because it's got that quirky vintageness to it, doesn't it, Doris? I'm sure I know a car called Doris. Um, but Doris Day, you know, one of my all time favorites. So I think it is really, really wearable and really pretty looking lit, written down like that. Then there's Irene at number eight, so Kathleen, Irene, and um, yeah, then number nine is Elizabeth. So again, another royal Elizabeth and Margaret. I think that Elizabeth is gonna continue to be popular and I think that we more go with things like Lizzie, Libby, like Eliza is more popular than Elizabeth, but I think the full form, again, I do feel like there's gonna be this counter trend now from going from the nicknames back to the full form. Elizabeth, so beautiful. Eileen is at number 10. So I feel like Eileen and Irene um, are just such like, you know, for me, they're kind of like, they're not even grandma names, they're more like sort of, I guess they are, I guess they're like teacher names type of thing, like what would it be my teacher's names? Um, I don't know if they ever come back into fashion, what do you think? Do they sound quite vintage cool to you or are they still just kind of like a bit like, you know, my teacher next door. And number 11 is Betty, which is already back with a bang. Obviously it's another derivative of Elizabeth, um, but definitely got its vintage vibe cool already. And then Jean at number 12. 
Jean, do you think that will come back in? Marjorie is at 13. And then one I love is Gladys at number 14. I think Gladys is gorgeous and it's got kind of like modern virtue vibes, doesn't it? With like, you know, like Joy and Gladys. I think it is like one that a lot of you might really like. If you just say it and take it out of any other context of it kind of being an older lady's name, Gladys. Um, Gladys Knight, of course. It's just a really, really pretty, lovely name. Doreen is at number 15, Doreen. Um, and then Vera at number 16, which I started to think I really, really liked. You know, think about all the names that are popular, like Olivia. Evie, Ava, why not Vera? Like it is actually really beautiful. And with Vera Lynn um, being such an, we, you know, we all really got behind when Vera Lynn passed away in this year, this pandemic year. Don't talk about the pandemic. Um, for the 1920s, what a way to bring the 1920s vibe into your name with the name Vera after Vera Lynn. Um, so I thought I can see that being a bit of a breakout star. Maybe we could add it on our list. If enough of you like it, pop it below. Elsie is at 17, already back with a bang. I know loads of little Elsies. Barbara is at number 18. And then Winifred at 19. And this is, again, one of those. So Winnie, and um, we love as a nickname, Winifred. She could be Freddie as well, which is like the boy name is girl name. So cool. My neighbour's little girl is called Freddie. Um, I've obviously got a boy called Freddie. Not obviously, but I do. Um... So Winifred, I think, could be up there on a lot of your lists. If we're looking for a really strong vintage name that you can play around with, that's a really great one. Edna, at number 20, Edna. They're hard, those D sounds, the D sounds, but we do love them. They're coming back in, like, this year. We saw Dana go in, we saw Delilah shoot up the charts, um, Ada. So the D sound is kind of really appealing to modern parents so um edna maybe it's a bit still out there but what do you think and then audrey at number 21 so audrey always feels french to me so i'm lovely to see it back in 1921 it was quite popular at 21 um in england and wales audrey and i just think it's absolutely lovely i think it's one of those that is got that vintage vibes everyone knows how to spell it audrey hepburn it's got so much going for it and it's a little bit underused in my opinion so that could be a good sneaky one for your list so i'm just reading these off my laptop for you wonder why i keep looking down at the floor um next up is edith so i really like edith i think with edna maybe a bit strong edith is really really gorgeous and really really works as well for a modern day and it's right ahead of florence which is so popular isn't it still lovely to see florence on this list from all those years ago with a lovely nickname Flo. but i do feel like with florence you're going to have a very popular name. There'll definitely be a lot of Florences in their class and things like that, because I know tons of little girls called Florence. So you could go a bit quirkier, and at number 24 next to Florence is Phyllis. Again, I think this is one that looks really pretty when you see it written down. It's got such strong, kind of like, old lady vibes to it, Phyllis. But you think about Felicity went into the top 100 for the first time last year. You're not going a million miles away from that with Phyllis. What do you reckon? What do you think? Lillian is at 25, which is gorgeous. A really lovely long form for Lily. If Lily is just too popular for you, Lillian, perfect. And hasn't really got the popularity. Then it's Hilda. And that's a really strong one, isn't it? Hilda, 26. Hilda does seem difficult for a tiny baby, doesn't it? Um, Hilda. But again, I can see with like, you know, Matilda is really a popular. Hilda um, could be like a quirky choice for some of you. Olive at number 27, and then Annie at number 28. And this sort of captured my heart. I know it's a really common name, Annie, but we don't use it so much. There's not, I don't know, I don't think any of the kids have ever had an Annie in any of their schools or their classes or their clubs or anything. So um, it's at number, it was at number 28 back in 1921. It feels so vintage. And I love the movie Annie. I'm gonna watch that with the kids today, actually. Um, so yeah, I feel like that is a contender. Violet at number 29, still super popular. Alice at number 30, which isn't as popular as you'd imagine considering it is like that beautiful Disney movie and everything, Alice. Um, so vintage, really, really lovely. It was kind of on our list, I'm sure at some point, Alice. Patricia at 31. And Ivy at 32, which is going up through the ranks. I know some of you are gutted about it because it's been on your name list for so long. Um, perfect for Christmas, obviously, Ivy. Uh, but it is storming up the chart. I wouldn't say it wouldn't put me off. Don't don't change the spelling. Just go Ivy Y. Don't do Ivy I E or anything like that. Just go with it. If you love it, you will always love it. It will never 
be something that doesn't bring you joy <laughs> to be honest the names bring me so much joy don't they what about muriel at number 33 muriel um i think that's so adorable imagine a little girl um, called Muriel. It's quite hard to say, isn't it? And obviously the movie, um, which I loved. You're a terrible Muriel. Do you remember that? I loved that movie. Um, but yeah, I think again, it's one of those quirky ones. And then Iris at number 34, which I think will keep rising. You know, it's the goddess of the rainbow as well. And with the rainbow symbol for stay home, stay safe and everything during the NHS um, and pride and everything like that. Rainbows are so symbolic for so many of us. So I think Iris will keep getting popular and it's Iris from the holiday Christmas movie so for Christmas Evelyn is at number 35 hate it <laughs> no my daughter's called Evelina which is a Scandinavian version of Evelyn and quite old-fashioned as well so there's not so many younger Evelinas in Sweden from my understanding a Peggy is Peggy a nickname for Margaret as well isn't it oh, I've gutted I'm going to have to have like two little dogs called Margaret and Peggy. Catherine is at number 37. Ethel at 38. What do you think of Ethel? It's probably a bit of a love-hate. I really like it. Again, I have Ethel in our family. My cousin married an Estonian girl called Ethel. And they say Etel, which is so pretty, isn't it? So it gets pronounced and then Beryl is next to that. So Ethel, I feel I could see the beauty in it. Beryl, <laughs> probably some of you can't see the beauty in Ethel, but Beryl to me, I'm not too sure on, not too sure I can get behind it, but I don't know, you are, you mind, it's all very subjective. Gwendolyn is at 40, isn't that pretty, Gwendolyn? And then Ellen at 41, Sylvia at 42, and we have a new little Sylvie here in our community, baby born just this week, little baby Sylvie, so congrats, do pop birth announcements below. And actually this week on my Instagram, which I'll link below, I shared some of your baby names over there, so if you don't follow me on both, go over there, because I did your little baby names from the year, I'm gonna do a few more keep celebrating our baby names here um but the sylvia love like sylvia plath i think it's gorgeous sheila at 43 and then rose just by itself rosie is our most popular derivative of rose but there are so many aren't there um that but we just pop it in the middle spot quite often like matilda rose isn't it everyone's got rose in the middle um so we should play around with it a bit more and then constance at 45 which again hands down one of my favorites from the list constance with a nickname connie i just think it's lovely i love um virtue names like that and i think that you know staying steady and this constant love it just got so many lovely vibes to it constance um oh. I'm annoyed about that as well now. Francis at number 46. I like the name Francis for boys and girls. I really am into it because I know a few Francis and they're all so nice, like lovely people. I love the nickname Fran um, as well. At 47, it's Lily, which has endured the test of time, hasn't it? And at 48 is Frida, which I know a lot of you like. So that's a good spot for a D, isn't it? Obviously, I've got, then that she could be Freddie as well, couldn't she? It's a nickname. So I've obviously got Freddie so I wouldn't have gone with Frida but I do know a few Fridas and I just think really nice nice to see it being used then oh, I loved this one at 49 is the name Marion like Maid Marion um that kind of goes under looks doesn't it Marion so pretty um very unusual I like Mar you know like um rather Mary than Mary like it's kind of pretty isn't it Marion I think that is a bit of a gem in this list that we've found from the, these are the top names from 1921. And at number 50 is Nancy, um, which again, I really, really do like. And I know that some of you, or and also somebody I know in real life, were struggling to get this past their partners. So I wonder again, if it's a little bit divisive. I think Nancy's really genuinely cool name. The nickname Nam, I also think is really quirky. Um, so I think it's really wearable, but I wonder if it's a bit hit and miss. Grace is at 51 and then Beatrice, Sarah at 53. I'm Sarah Jane. Um, that's funny how that must have gone up and up and up because um, it was so popular, wasn't it? Not that I was born in the 20s. Um, Agnes at 54 gorgeous really like it um ness as a nickname am i selling this to you agnes with ness or nessie um maybe that's a bit lock messy um <laughs> but i really like it and i was thinking about it was a show wasn't it about selfridges the the shop must have been set in the 20s and the shop assistant was called agnes i loved that show i was really really into it it's unusual for me because i don't watch stuff really religiously like that but that show, Mr. Savage, I was so into, and she was Agnes. So if you were thinking about it, then go back and watch that show, um, and it will make you fall in love with it. Ruth at 
55 may which is like you know again middle spot heaven for most of us at may everyone wants a short syllable middle spot and then nora at 57 which i think is gorgeous and nora's on this list twice this one without the h and again with the h so i wonder i mean for me it just seems like i don't think it is really popular now but i know a lot of noras um maybe because of, of the, i don't know them in real life on instagram <laughs> it's a great instagram name isn't it nora and i know norma um nora i think it's stunning really stunning and i worked with a girl called nora and you always remember the name it's very kind of like stand out but simple so i think it's a really really great one on this list as well brenda at 58 jesse at 59 which is one of the only nickname names on here jesse um and then pamela at 60 pam that's kind of gone hasn't it next to Anne, um helen at 62 I, a lot of you really like the name helen um and helena it comes up on a lot of your kind of suggestions that you really like it Helen um, very kind of classic isn't it and then Marie at 63 Mabel at 64 has already had its revival again I know a lot of you are gutted about it but yeah it's already back with a bang so maybe go with some of the others on this list and then Eva at 65 Maria Ruby doesn't strike me as a 1920s name Ruby um, so it's kind of interesting to see that at 67 and then Nelly at 68 which I think is a great choice if you like Ellie Ella those sounds then you could think about going Nelly because it's got that 1920s connection which is cool um, but it is kind of rising through the charts but it's really lovely and I really like Nell as um, a simple middle spot as well as opposed to say Bella you could have Nell who's Nelly um, I think it really really works it's such a lovely one Hazel at 69 is the kind of the same I think as a replacement for say Olivia if that's too popular for you, Hazel, they seem really similar to me. It's obviously like nature name and it's got the colour vibes to it as well. That colour is so popular, isn't it? That kind of hazel brown. Um, am I wearing hazel brown? A little bit in my dress, my contrast dress. Um, so yeah, it's, it kind of feels very now. Emily is at 70, which is still in our top 10. Josephine um, at 71, I do love Josie as a nickname and actually my daughter's made her own little best friend at preschool who's called Josie, um, which I'm quite happy about. And then Daphne at 72, I find this really fascinating because I remember my friend, she was picking her names and she was like, I really like the name Daphne. And I thought it was terrible at the time. This was like, when, a few years ago, I was like, oh, and she ended up choosing Linnea and I was like, much preferred it floral name Daphne obviously being a floral name and now I love it so it's kind of funny isn't it I do think there's something sometimes it just takes a couple of years for a name that kind of seemed a bit unwearable to suddenly be like top spot like Mabel even years ago we'd have been like oh Mabel um but yeah Daphne for me falls into that Jane next to that Daphne Jane actually sounds quite good DJ um Ada at 74 fastest rising most popular girl name from last year um, thanks to Peaky Blinders, we think. Pauline, um, Anne, Enid, which you would imagine is more popular than it is. I've looked at this name before and always expected it to have quite a big um, usage, but it doesn't as much as you would imagine, Enid. Gertrude is at number 78. Don't know if I could get on board with Gertrude, but I love Gertie as a nickname. I think it's absolutely adorable. Rita at 79, which is quite, again, a little unsung hero, like Rita Aura. Um, you know, Rita's actually quite a lovely name, isn't it? But don't really hear it so much. June at number 80, which I love as well. And we've kind of gone more Juno, which is kind of like a god name, goddess name, which we really like. But June, you know, you think about all the all the months, days of the week. Did you see actually that um, uh, Ron from Harry Potter, I know that's not his real name, had a little girl and called her Wednesday. That was really cool. Rupert Grinch, congrats to them. A little daughter Wednesday but June yeah like with May June January April all those names we like them Stella um is at number 81 and then the second spelling of Nora then Mavis I love the name Mavis and actually when I do baby in consultations with you guys um which I'll be giving away every single Monday for the rest of the month, not this one, from December. I'll be giving away a free baby name consultation to anyone who can enter. Um, but Mavis, a lot of people say, like, I like Ava, Eva, or they like Mabel, or they're after a nature name. And I always end up recommending Mavis to so many of you because it's a bird. Um, it's so special. I think it's lovely with the S at the end. And Maeve has boomed. Um, and Mavis actually is a kind of a really sweet, I can just imagine a little girl called Mavis, like a cute little girl. I just think it works so well. It's like you have to almost, when you say the name like this, you think of 
a certain picture in your head. Think Mavis, think cute little girl, and it just suddenly like really works. He's just like, actually it is adorable, Mavis. Um, I'm gonna see actually, I'm probably have done a Pinterest pin on Mavis. I'm gonna sell it, sell it. I'm like going door to door with Mavis. <laughs> Thelma is 84, um, Mildred is 85, Mildred, um, that's a tough one with the D sometimes can sound so strong, can't it, with two Ds, and then Bridget at 86, which has really kind of stood the test of time, I love it, I love Bridge as a nickname, Bridget Jones, I feel like I need a movie day, Monica is 87, that is my mother-in-law's name, and I think with the revival of Friends, everyone I rewatched Friends in lockdown this year and younger generation getting so into Friends. Friends is everywhere again, isn't it? So I wonder if Monica and Rachel, I was thinking, probably going to have a big surge again um, because we're so swayed by what we watch. Daisy is 88, again, stood the test of time. Then Eleanor, Lillian, Alma at 91. I love it. I think it is so gorgeous. If you're looking for really vintage vibes, I know it's quite used around Europe, so let me know what country you're in, but not so used here in the UK anymore, um, but I know that a lot of you guys love it. We have talked about it before. So if we're having a little girl, or you don't, we're having it, pop Alma on your list, play around with it. Like I do think names have to live with you for a bit. It's hard to be struck by lightning by a name. Sometimes you have to really like um, spend time with it to really, really like it. Lucy is at 92, really again, one that's been around for a long time. Dora at 93, um, Christine at 94, Maureen, all these Maureens, Irene's, that really has, I'm gonna have to really think about if that's come back, have a look through my current list. Janet at 96, I quite like, I feel like that's like got quirky vibes to it now, Janet. Rosemary, I think this is really bang up to date actually from Rose being such a popular middle spot, Mary obviously was number two back in the 20s, Rosemary's got the perfect vintageness, but it's very garden, you know, we're very into garden names at the moment, like sage, basil, like outdoor naturey type of names, foodie names, but Rosemary, top pick for me, Hannah is at 98, which I always think is such an unsung name, I know it's quite popular still, Hannah, but it's one of my favourites, I know quite a lot of Hannahs, um, which is why I never sort of chose it, because one of my really good friends is called Hannah, um, so it'd be like I'm picking a name, like naming my child after you and not my other friends, but um, I've always thought it was so pretty, I love it, it's a really really gorgeous one, Sybil at 98, which I've got to do, I love it, Sybil, I just think, you know, if you like Belle um, and things like that, I'm wondering like Bella and stuff, um, or even Sylvie that we talked about earlier, Sybil works so well and again it's one of those perfectly timed what I feel get in there quick with Sybil so I think it will start going up and then the last one at number 100 of the 1921 baby name list is Amy um which yeah just it is a really sweet name a bit like Emma um those sort of very sweet names that sort of stand the test of time I think will be around forever on our list so I hope you liked that list as I said I think we should try and put together our own selection together from the full hundred, I want to give you the full hundred so there's you can play with it. So let me know your top one. I know I say top one and everyone's gonna do their top 10, but whatever is at the top, that's what I'm gonna count up and then I'll make our own list of the top five, say so top 10, 1920 girl names that we think are gonna come back for 2021. Um, and the boy name list version will be up next Monday. So do hit subscribe, do hit the notification bell. I've got tons of new stuff coming up. Don't forget those giveaways as well throughout December. Those will be starting next next week and enjoy your week stay home stay safe say hi in the messages below i'll be down there chatting as well bye guys